Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to Yes Spaces. Today we're going to talk about some simple tabletop decor for St. Patrick's Day that helps your kids remember how lucky they really are. When you start setting the table for any holiday, always start with the basics that aren't directly linked to that holiday. No shamrock tablecloths. This cloth could be reused for Easter, Christmas, even in the summer for barbecues. Same thing with your planters, and I really love to use plants that I can take out and use in the garden after the holiday. This is a purple shamrock that just pops against the tablecloth and actually is part of our holiday theme. I set the table with my gold chargers because they look like giant gold coins, which is part of our theme, and put my everyday china because you don't want to say no to your kids at the holiday dinner table. Then we started adding some fun things. In this case, we started with some leprechauns that were mismatched random guys from Goodwill that we spray painted all to match in a high gloss green. I like that high gloss pop, but I kept it the same green color as the tablecloth because I don't really want to draw attention to them. They're just part of the whole overall look. Then I filled the tablecloth with some drifts of gold coins. Make sure that you use multiples. I have some plastic coins here that are mixed in with a few chocolate coins so my kids can dig through the pile for some buried treasure. Then for the final item that will help your children remember how lucky they are, I make tons of these green four leaf clovers. Just from paper at our local craft store, I draw circles. I happen to be using a circle template, but any circle will do. You can freehand it. I just put four circles next to each other, cut them out, added a stem, and to make them pop a little bit against the table, I added creases where the veins would be on a real clover. I put these all over the tabletop and put out a green marker so my kids can spend a little bit of time writing on the back of each shamrock something that makes them feel lucky. Then somebody at the table can read them out, your kids can share them, Use it however it makes your family feel comfortable. Then I add one final thing. I like to put at every child's place a four-leaf clover that helps them know how lucky I feel to have them. I write on it the things that are unique about them that make them special to me because they're all different and they're all special in their own way. I put in the middle, I am lucky to have you because, and four special things about them. In the end, your children aren't going to remember if you dyed the cake batter green, but they are going to remember that someone saw them, knew them, and loved them. And isn't that the luckiest thing of all? Happy St. Patrick's Day.